Hello my dear students, I am Burhanuddin, your educator. So, this is the series of Acid, Base and Salt. And today we are going to cover the topic Reaction of Acid and Base with Metal. So, in previous video, I had covered introduction part of this chapter and then I had started the chemical properties of acid and base. In chemical properties of acid and base, in previous video, I had covered acid and base in laboratory. In this topic, I had already completed activity 2.1 and activity 2.2. If you had not checked these videos, then click the i button and check these videos or link of these videos are also given in description box. So kindly check description box also. So today we are going to cover 2.1.1 that is how do acids and base react with metal. In this topic, there are two activities which we are going to cover in this video lecture that are activity 2.3 and activity 2.4. So let's start this topic. How do acids and base react with metals? So first we are going to cover activity 2.3. In activity 2.3, we will see reaction of metal with acid. The aim of this activity is to study the reaction of acid and base with metal. Causan. This activity needs teacher assistance. Apparatus which are required for these activities are test tube, delivery tube, glass tub, candle, soap, water, dilute H2SO4 and zinc granules. Step 2. Set the test tube on the test tube stand and with the help of dropper add 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in test tube. After adding dilute sulfuric acid in test tube, add zinc granules in the test tube. Observe the surface of the zinc granules. Now after that put the one end of delivery tube in test tube and other end in the tub. Now add the soap solution in the tub. Pass the gas being evolved through the soap solution. What we will observe here that soap bubbles filled with hydrogen are formed. So the question arises that why bubbles are formed in the soap solution? The answer to this question is on passing hydrogen gas through soap solution, it does not get dissolved in it and the solution easily forms bubbles containing hydrogen gas. Now, step 4. Take the burning candle near the gas filled bubbles. What we will observe here, burning of hydrogen gas with pop sound and the candle will put off. So, what do you observe? A colorless and odorless gas comes out along the delivery tube. Bubbles are formed in the soft solution. The gas evolved burn with a pop sound, which shows the presence of hydrogen gas. Now, repeat this activity with some more acid like HCl, HNO3 and CH3COOH. What does this activity teaches us? Since the gas evolved from the tube give pop sound near the burning candle. So, it is confirmed to be hydrogen gas produced by zinc granules and dilute sulfuric acid. So, finally, this activity teaches us that hydrogen gas is evolved when an acid reacts with metal. The reaction of this activity can be also written as acid which we had taken at so dilute sulfuric acid and a metal which we had taken as zinc will form a salt that is zinc sulfate ZnSO4 and hydrogen gas H2 is evolved. So acid plus metal gives salt and hydrogen gas. You should note down this. Now let's talk about activity 2.3. In this activity we will observe reaction of metal with base. Now what we have to do for this activity place a few pieces of granulated zinc metal in a test tube. Now add 2 ml of sodium hydroxide solution and warm the content of the test tube with the help of burner. Repeat the rest of the steps as in activity 2.3 and record the observation. So what we will observe the evolved gas will pass with the help of delivery tube through the soap solution and bubbles are formed. And when we will take a burning candle near that bubbles, the pop sound will come and candle will put off. So, which signifies that the presence of hydrogen gas and the reaction 
that take place can be also written as follow that 2NaOH which we had taken as base plus zinc gives us Na2ZnO2 plus H2 means hydrogen gas is produced when metal react with base. You find again that hydrogen is formed in the reaction. However, such reaction are not possible with all metals. So, these are the two activities which are given in our textbook. Topic which will be covered in next video lecture is how do metal carbonate and metal hydrogen carbonate react with acid. That's all for today's video lecture. Thank you.